Please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. Reprise de l'audience. Back in session. And I'd like to ask whether judges of the bench have any questions for these two medical experts. Souhaitent-ils interroger les deux experts médicaux? And at the commencement of the hearing on the 21st January 2015, the trial chamber advised the parties that the fitness to stand trial of the accused is to be held on the 23rd January 2015, and parties are instructed Il a été donné instruction au parti to provide any confirmation by afternoon on the 22nd if any party wish to have the si hearing held. Que and en question yesterday we received Hier, confirmation from the lead co-lawyers for all parties, parties to put questions to the experts in relation to certain paragraphs of the report. And for that reason, the chamber will see the floor to the lead co-lawyers for civil parties to put the questions to the true experts and you may Je vous en prie, vous pouvez interroger les experts. Maître Pickang. Good morning, Mr. President. Bonjour, Mr. President, Mesdames, Messieurs les juges. And due to the privacy and confidentiality of a personal information of the accused. We will not put uh, pour le questions de in relation to that, and most of the questions have been de ces Nous put pas to the two experts by judge de friends already. Ont déjà été par la juge and friends en I have one question, une question à poser. which is in general, qui est une question de we put générale. to the uh, medical experts for people with high blood pressure and when they first an issue Quand to make them for example shocked et or ensuite, feel really unhappy or upset ou or maybe a question would upset that individual si elle est par my question, question to the two experts is the following Will people or individuals with history of uh, hypertension is affected by such situation and in terms of uh, mental status? And if so, how? Mr. President, um, I wish to answer that question, uh, which is a general question about um, how people would react if they have high blood pressure when they are shocked, unhappy, or upset. I think um, the response of such an individual would be uh, a rise, a further rise in his or her blood pressure, and depending on the intensity of that, um, fonction uh, of that shock, de ce shock or, or unhappiness, ou de cette sometimes it can be a triggering factor for them to develop Severe uncontrolled hypertension or even uh, hypertensive crisis. Now, in hypertensive crisis, uh, we are really talking about a blood pressure that is above 180 systolic and or a diastolic that is above 120. Uh, in such an a situation if the pressure is 
dans cette situation, si la tension and dépasse 180 sur 120, um, the person may develop a condition called hypertensive encephalopathy. Être touché par une encephalopathie. Uh, that happens when the pressure is so high that it causes swelling of the brain, and as cerveau. a result of the swelling of the brain, Et that person partant, can develop acute confusion, une confusion uh, and the person chez le may develop a, a stroke in the process. Un AVC of course, est when the person becomes confused, uh, incoherent, unable to recognize people, um, se perdre, it is a medical emergency where they need to be brought straight away to the hospital. Et le doit être conduit à so, Thank you, Mr. Expert, for your response. Le co-avocat, je vous remercie de votre réponse, the severity or the intensity of the uh, hypertension. Would you be able to provide further details on the level of intensity that would cause the hypertension or leads to hypertensive crisis? Well, I'm afraid this is very individualized. There are some people à who dire, are very resilient and uh, nothing can shock them. Résiste. There are others who, uh, who are very sensitive par, uh, and par, certainly par any rien, anxiety could uh, trigger a rise in blood pressure. Um, I have to add that not every blood pressure that is above 180 over 120 uh, uh, will lead to hypertensive encephalopathy. Uh, some patients will, uh, for some reasons, some patients will not, uh, for some reasons. I, I think there's also uh, individualized and probably has a genetic basis to that. Uh, in order uh, to avoid principal. the level of uh, hypertension that might lead to a severe uh, crisis, pour would you have any uh, recommendations uh, to make to prevent such occurrence? I think the uh, recommendations to prevent such an occurrence would uh, first and foremost be uh, to have um, the normal, his usual, usual blood pressure of the person to be well controlled. First. If the person at rest and in a very uh, relaxed state uh, still has high blood pressure, then obviously it would be much easier for that pressure to go up upon provocation uh, compared to someone whose blood pressure uh, is within the normal range. Par rapport so à une personne that, that dont la tension be, um, dans la fourchette normale. First and foremost, the most important thing to avoid uh, a person from developing uh, such an a hypertensive uh, emergency. Um, the others would include very uh, basic uh, health care, uh, Um, very basic uh, health care precautions like uh, a proper diet, low salt diet, as well as adequate exercise and uh, adequate uh, rest, of course. Uh, 
I have no further question for Mr. Expert, and thank you for your uh, response, and thank you, Mr. President. President, and what about other parties to the proceeding? If you do, you wish to uh, put questions to the expert and the international co-prosecutor, do you have the floor? Thank you, Mr. President, and Your Honours. Thank you, doctors, for coming. Um, I'd like to just ask you a few questions about uh, material that you reviewed in preparing your report. And in all of the questions I'm going to ask you, I want to distinguish between questions about the general medical condition and care of the accused and questions directly relevant to their fitness to stand trial. Did you have the opportunity, or were you provided by anyone, with the chance to observe the accused, Nun Chi and Kyu Sam Pan's statements to the court at the very end of the last trial, case 2-1, in October les déclarations des deux accusés en octobre 2013, lorsqu'ils ont pris la parole devant la Chambre et ont présenté leur opinion quant aux éléments de preuve du procès. Yeah. No, we have not. Did you have the opportunity, or were you provided by anyone with the opportunity to review statements made by Nunchia and Kyu Sampan in October and November of 2014, when they explained that they each had instructed their counsels to boycott the proceedings until various conditions they demanded were met? de sorte que ces derniers boycottent le procès et no, les not. motifs à l'origine de cette instruction. Réponse, non. Président, et Madame Counsel pour la Défense, vous pouvez procéder. La Défense, vous avez la parole. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Je Thank dois you, dire que, à ce stade, je m'interroge sur la ligne de question de Monsieur le Procureur. Je ne vois pas quel est le lien avec les experts médicaux et surtout en quoi ces éléments sont relatifs à la possibilité d'assister aux audiences uh, des accusés, qui encore une fois ne sont pas contestées uh, the proceedings. par les parties, par les, uh, uh, les accusés qui n'ont jamais dit qu'ils n'étaient pas en état de ne pas suivre uh, les, les audiences. Donc là, je, je pense qu'il faudrait qu'on puisse poser des questions qui sont en rapport avec uh, les qualifications uh, des experts. Uh, be focused strictly to what the experts have been summoned to speak about. Thank you, Your Honor, and I absolutely appreciate counsel's comment. That's exactly my point, one that I wish to make, that no one, including defense counsel, has said that the accused are not fit for trial, and that is the exact purpose of this hearing, to assess their fitness for trial. So I appreciate that point. Can I go on in my question? Sir, in regards to your, what you were able to review about the current medical care given to Q. Sampan and Nunchia, can you compare that to the general population and perhaps even your own patients as far as the access that they have to regular medical care? Jouissent-ils du même accès aux soins de santé? Uh, Mr. Expert, uh, please hold on, and attendre, the counsel for the defense, you la may proceed. Pardon. Monsieur le Président, je vous remercie. Again, On Mr. voit très bien où veut en venir, Monsieur le Procureur. Je pense que si Monsieur le Procureur a un discours à faire sur la situation médicale en général du Cambodge, ce n'est pas le lieu. Aujourd'hui, les experts étaient là pour parler et évoquer de la situation médicale des accusés. Ça a été fait. Je pense que le chemin sur lequel se dirige Monsieur le Procureur n'est pas approprié. 
my questions directed specifically to the medical care of the accused, and this relates specifically to the issue that uh, one of the doctors raised about the amount of par reviews that should be done and the frequency of reviews of their mental conditions. President, the Chamber wishes to hear the response from the experts to the la last question asked by the International Co-Prosecutor and Mr. Expert. You may respond to Monsieur, the last question. Vous avez la uh, Answer. I would like to respond to the last question asked by the Co-Prosecutor. In our recommendation, we recommend for a regular review through the mental status of the accused. And it is my observation that the court invited the experts to have a regular review annually or about annually. However, Cependant, we have not received any uh, medical, uh, regular medical report from the régulier. hospital on the uh, mental health. We only have the physical mental. medical uh, report in the form physique. of a daily Qui report or a weekly report, but none of the uh, mental Mais health report. For us, it would be better if we are able to access to that so that we can use them as a reference in our report or an assessment. And if not, we can only rely on whatever reports that we may have. And when we ask the treating doctors or the duty doctors, they are impressed on the mental health of the two accused. It's unchanged de to them, and that's, that's nothing particular uh, for them uh, to uh, take any further action or uh, assessment. For that reason, we recommend uh, to have uh, this uh, regular uh, mental health report. Otherwise, we can only work on the existing reports that we have. So, am I correct in understanding that you Question. were made aware that the accused have a duty doctor and that there is a weekly report on their medical condition, but you stated that you didn't see an evaluation of their mental condition in those reports. Is that correct? In the general medical report, it doesn't state clearly general, on this condition. They only focused on the physical health. However, when we question or interview the mentale, treating or duty doctors, their impression, uh, leur impression was that they did not notice that the mental status eux, of the accused is a change. Un quelconque changement dans l'état de santé mentale des accusés. Question. The persons, uh, en convenez-vous alors, diriez-vous également que of the ability of an accused person to be fit for trial to meet those seven Stugar criteria that you mentioned in your report? That among the people best situated for that evaluation would be the council, who interact regularly with the la accused, la plus à même and de parler de can santé see if they're able to understand the evidence and understand the proceedings. Avec les accusés et qui sont donc à même de juger si oui ou non la, le, leur état de santé mentale leur permet de tout comprendre. Uh. To uh, my knowledge. The mental health assessment by a specialist at a hospital or a commercial with friendship hospital, which is the partner of the court, is not uh, mainly focused on the health, on the mental health, but on the physical health rather. 
porte pas sur l'état de santé mentale, and mais plutôt sur l'état de santé. And as for the opinions physique. of the defense counsel for the accused, s'agissant de l'avis de la défense au sujet de l'accusé à présent, je suis de l'avis. Other parties may view that assessment or opinion as non-independent or biased about their clients. Because, of course, apparently, they are the defense counsel for the accused. So, from other parties' opinions, their, their opinion or their assessment would be considered prejudicial or biased. Ce serait donc For that reason, we would recommend an independent une, body to make such an assessment, and with that uh, independent assessment, we can use it as a reference in our assessment. Because we, we have asked uh, duty doctors and uh, security uh, personnel at the detention center. De sécurité. And of course, they are aware of uh, the opinion to be provided as the opinion, uh, opinions of the independence and not a bias toward any bien party sûr, to the proceedings. Que leur avis doit être and maybe uh, et my, uh, my partner here would like to add to that. Mais que mon chose. Um, yes, I would like to um, Kim -Chan. say that the assessment of, oui, of dire the cognitive status of an individual um, des fonctions has to be done through as many facts that we can receive as possible. Doit se faire uh, preferably, this would be avec autant de uh, independent, que unbiased de facts. Um, des and faits when we are doing the assessment, it is not. Lorsque nous um, réalisons cette évaluation, uh, it is not such a simple process because there are different domains of the brain that we are actually assessing. Nous um, for example, we de, de not only have to look at memory, but have to look at long-term and recent memory. We have to look at uh, whether there's any personality terme, change, terme, any uh, thinking, any executive functioning, planning, si uh, how about his language, aphasia, apraxia, uh, si whether he's able to do things that he's supposed to do, and, and so forth, si which uh, I would think uh, it's a bit more complex Donc, uh, est un petit peu than just to interact with, uh, with the council because you all would be probably uh, concerned about specific areas and la therefore you would uh, only be able to give us information on specific areas, but there are many other uh, areas or domains of the brain that or we need to assess uh, before we come to that conclusion of whether a person firstly has dementia or doesn't have dementia, and secondly, si whether the person oui has the mental capacity de, de to uh, attend trial, to follow the proceedings, and so forth. Les audiences, le procès, Doctors, etc. each of you surely has patients uh, of the ages of these accused persons. Messieurs les docteurs, and vous avez très certainement parmi vos patients des personnes qui sont dans le même état de santé que les accusés ou qui ont In le même âge. In your practice, dans do you regularly votre pratique have those patients go through a mental examination? Or how often does that occur and what does it involve normally? Yes, uh, certainly we have many of such uh, patients. Um, it depends on the situation, I mean, we have Les to be very practical when we are running our own clinic. Dans la de nos um, we nos may not be doing the ideal because it also Alors, depends on what are the issues at hand. Uh, uh, if we are looking at a generally well elderly, um, who is just here for a single pathology, like hypertension, diabetes, or, or, or something like that, and uh, we are not looking at any medical legal issues like person donc, making a will and so forth, then we would only be uh, assessing them 
at the first point Ainsi, of contact and probably the next time in a year's de, time contact, hein. versus someone who who is in the midst of a court tussle, some medical legal issues Il about lasting power attorney and, and, uh, and so forth, then we will have to qui, assess uh, them using different instruments uh, more regularly because we, we cannot just keep on using the same instrument over and over again uh, because there is a learned effect in this instrument. If I understand your answer, if Question. you had met si donc, bien these persons, accused persons, ah, Nunchi si and Kyu Sampan, in a different setting, they were out of custody, they were your patients, si you would give them a yearly medical examination, and absent other complaints, that would be une fois par an, is that correct? Et vous auriez éventuellement étudié tout yes, I would. Les, Thank you. Les selon now, les, uh, les I want to focus, avoir. ask Réponse. you just a few oui. questions Question. about the scheduling questions question that you were posed to you by the trial chamber. Is it correct, just to summarize your findings, that you both recommended that both accused were capable of sitting four days per week in the trial hearings in this case at the, per, at the present time? Vous affirmez tous deux que les accusés suivre des audiences quatre fois par semaine, quatre jours par semaine. Uh, yes, you are right. Four Réponse. days per week, but exact. with the uh, extended uh, break in between, so that they would have adequate rest for the afternoon session. Se what you're referring to is you indicated Question. that Q Sampan had indicated to you that he would prefer an extra half hour at, at the uh, lunch hour. Is that correct? Uh, that's correct. Réponse. Now, just exact. to clarify on that, would it be correct that Question. in regards to the ability of the accused to sit through and concentrate on the proceedings, de de there are two factors, one being the length of the day of the overall proceedings, and secondly, the length of individual sessions. Et la would that be correct that both of those could be factors? Séances individuelles, ce sont donc là les deux facteurs à prendre en considération, n'est-ce pas? Sorry, can you repeat the question? Thank you. Réponse. Yes. Pourriez-vous, s'il vous plaît, répéter la question? My question is, in determining a schedule that accommodates Accusation. the age of the Pour accused, un that there are two factors, the number of hours per day that the accused are in but also the length of an individual session without a break. So in other words, whether we sit for two and a half hours without a break, or have et la longueur, one hour and 15 donc minutes with a break. La both of those du, la durée can du moment contribute où ils sont assis to the, uh, both of those affect the issue. Is that correct? Deux paramètres à prendre en compte. Est-ce juste? Yes, we, we believe so. Réponse, oui, nous pensons que ce sont les deux facteurs. Is it also correct you've explained Question. what's quite obvious that the health of elderly persons is a dynamic situation and that there certainly is the possibility, évolution. significant possibility, Vous avez dit that their health will worsen que in, for example, one year's time. Is that correct? Dans un an, un an. Yes, that's est correct. Que correct? Réponse. Oui. So is it correct that any Question. Day of court that's lost at the present time. Peut-on donc dire que tout may jour d'audience perdu may not, or may find it more difficult to make that up a year or ne more from now because the accused condition will have worsened? Ou compensé dans un an ou deux parce que l'état de santé des accusés se sera dégradé. That's correct. Est-ce correct? Réponse. Oui, c'est exact. And just to summarize, assuming Question. that si the. Request of Q Sampan is accommodated, that the lunch hour si is extended, and that perhaps if the, Sampan, the, the longest donc une pause uh, sitting, plus longue, individual sitting, in other words, is reduced, in other words, maybe from two hours to one and a half hours, that in your opinion, each of the accused is capable of sitting now in the trial four days per week. Cela voudrait donc dire que, à votre avis, les accusés pourraient euh, être en audience quatre jours par semaine. Thank you, Réponse. Mr. President. Thank correct. you, doctors. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Mesdames et Messieurs, je vous remercie. President, thank you.
And we would like to give the floor now to the Defense Council. Le je donne and la parole the à Defense Council for Kyo Sampon, you may proceed. Vous avez la parole. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Uh, bonjour, Thank Messieurs you, les Mr. experts. President. Je ne serai pas très long. Uh, je voudrais uh, juste faire deux observations brief. et vous poser une like question à la suite. Vous avez, uh, lors de vos deux rapports médicaux, celui de mars 2014 et celui In de janvier 2015, vous avez vu March 2015, uh, les deux accusés à uh, deux reprises. Sorry, deux jours consécutifs, March 2014 uh, en tout cas pour M. Kyosampan, une fois pendant deux heures, saw Mr. only et once une autre fois for two pendant hours, une heure ou 45 on minutes. And again, Là, je parle for des deux uh, occasions another, différentes pour lesquelles occasion. vous avez mené I'm les entretiens, en mars 2014, different occasions, March et 2014, en janvier 2014. And 2015. Les deux fois, on both uh, occasions, ces entretiens sont intervenus en mars 2014, alors qu'il n'y avait pas d'audience en cours, et en janvier 2015, there were no hearings, pour M. Kusampan, après sa sortie de plusieurs jours d'hospitalisation. Ma question est donc la suivante. Est-ce que, dans le cadre d'une évaluation à venir, est-ce que vous n'auriez pas plus euh, d'éléments médicaux, vous ou tous les médecins qui seraient amenés à Would faire une évaluation pour savoir quel est l'impact euh, de la durée euh, des jours d'audience et du nombre de jours d'audience Est-ce que vous n'auriez pas plus d'éléments après plusieurs semaines d'audience consécutive pour savoir comment les accusés euh, réagissent à ce rythme-là En d'autres termes, est-ce que médicalement, vous faites une différence entre une évaluation euh, de durée, comme vous l'avez fait, puisque, encore une fois, on ne conteste pas l'aptitude la, à être jugé, mais sur le temps d'audience et sur la, le nombre de jours euh, d'audience, est-ce que vous n'auriez pas plus d'éléments après une session euh, de plusieurs jours consécutifs qui per permettraient d'avoir euh, la réaction des accusés à euh, ces jours et ces heures hein, de, de, de présence en audience. The days of hearings and the schedules of hearings. Réponse. Uh, question, but voilà une question from my longue, j'espère me souvenir de tout ce que vous avez dit. Mais uh, si j'ai bien said, compris ce que vous um, venez de nous dire, saying that, uh, in the last year's March 2014 assessment, vous venez de dire que depuis uh, l'année dernière, depuis l'évaluation de mars so that, 2014, so to cette évaluation s'est faite entre and deux in the January audiences, c'est-à-dire qu'il n'y avait pas eu d'audience uh, en janvier 2014. Uh, Tandis qu'en janvier 2015, il had just avait been, été présent à des audiences uh, au moment de l'examen médical, d'autant qu'il venait um, juste de sortir de l'hôpital. Je pense que, sur le reveal des données que nous avons reçues, que nous avons révélé les données mensuelles de rapports médicaux, nous avons examiné um, un certain nombre de données, notamment des rapports hebdomadaires. Et à partir de ces rapports resting. hebdomadaires, nous avons constaté qu'il n'y avait pas vraiment de changement uh, dans ces signes uh, de incidents where, au repos. Uh, We felt that as a result of sickness or as a result of fatigue, his vital signs went off his normal. Unfortunately, I don't think there are any uh, medical instruments uh, that Je pense could measure qu the impact pas, uh, of uh, trial and so forth uh, on procès the health sur of la the santé. person. Uh, because if we look at the basic uh, parameters that si have been provided to us, uh, his, his counts were normal, his, the echocardiogram, which is a reflection of the function of his heart, uh, although it has declined uh, by a bit, um, 
if I remember uh, correctly, in, in March 2014, his ejection fraction, which is a measure of how much blood, percentage of blood that is being pumped out by the heart uh, was 64%, and now it has declined to 61% which is acceptable for someone of his age and it indicated adequate cardiac function uh, in that sense. Um, as, as I say, our assessment was, was based on our uh, impression as we talked to him, we interviewed him, Notre and there were times when he was very, he got very agitated, lui. and he was gestulating, and he was raising agité, his voice, we, we had to calm him voix, down, and so forth. Calmer, but at the end of it all, when we asked him how he felt, he says, I'm okay, I can continue, you know, I don't have to break for lunch, you know, we can carry on, I'm okay. So it is based on such feedback. Uh, that Nous we receive from him, uh, that we come up with, lui, uh, with this, des uh, number one. De and secondly, uh, in the, Ça, in the several Deuxième times chose. that we interviewed Mr. Q himself, his only request was really to reduce the morning session so that he can have a uh, lunch, and after that he can lie in bed for at least half an hour to rest. And then he says that I'm, I'm okay. After that, I'm refreshed. I'm able to continue the afternoon session. So he had not made any request uh, to us or verbalized to, to us that that uh, he, he can't and, and therefore uh, no, he's unable to participate and so forth. I, I, I hope I've answered your question. question. Oui, uh, en partie, c'est vrai, et je vous prie de m'excuser yes, pour la longueur uh, de la question. J'en ai juste une dernière. Dans votre uh, email uh, du 8 janvier dernier, uh, uh, E329 bar 6 bar 2, vous expliquez que uh, la tension artérielle et la fréquence du pouls d'une personne fluctue tout au long de la journée et qu'elles augmentent lorsque le sujet est stressé, fatigué et qu'il se sent mal. Donc ma question est euh, euh, sur relative à la fréquence de l'évaluation qui sera à faire euh, pour la suite. C'est est-ce euh, que c'est en fonction de ces éléments que vous avez euh, préconisé une euh, évaluation euh, mensuelle ou trimestrielle euh, compte tenu de, euh, du fait que les accusés sont en cours de procès Est-ce que c'est en fonction de ces éléments-là que vous avez fait cette préconisation ou est-ce qu'il y a d'autres éléments I, I think that recommendation of uh, uh, monthly or quarterly was on the mental state assessment, not the, not the physical uh, assessment. Et sur la santé physique des accusés, est-ce que vous avez une recommandation particulière en termes de, uh, de régularité de in terms of the frequency of assessments. Um, I have no um, recommendations other than to comment that whatever he's having now is adequate from the physical examination point of view. Pour ce qui est des examens physiques, ce qui est fait actuellement est suffisant. Je vous remercie, messieurs les experts, et je n'ai pas d'autres questions, monsieur le experts. Président. Merci, experts. Je n'ai pas d'autres questions pour les experts, monsieur le Président. Le Président, uh, Mr. Kong Sung Won, vous pouvez procéder. Monsieur Kong Sung Won, vous avez la parole. Kong Sung Won, merci, monsieur le Président. J'aimerais poser quelques questions en relation au paragraphe 42. Relativement au paragraphe 42, you mention a recommendation that 
we have to speak uh, clearly and slowly to Mr. Kyosampan. How slow is it Parce que vous dites when lentement. we speak so that uh, Mr. Kyosampan can listen better and can follow the proceedings? I, I would think that réponse. the speed at which we are speaking now Je would be adequate. La vitesse à laquelle nous parlons actuellement est appropriée. Uh, Question. Question. Does it has any impact uh, resulting from our translation? Is there any compli complexities in relation to translation that is making, uh, making him difficult to understand? Une capacité de compréhension des débats par l'accusé. Uh, Réponse. Dr. Hulina, I believe there is no impact. Non, je I pense pas que cela ait d'impact. I believe interpreters are well qualified je and they have correct interpretation. So there is no impact. Est tout à fait correct. Bah, cela n'a pas d'impact. Lawyer, counsel, I have no further questions. Question. Thank you, Mr. President. Question. President. Merci, President. And what about the uh, Nunchia defense uh, team? Mr. Sonron, you may not proceed. Mr. Sonron, you have the floor. Some group. Sonron, good morning, Mr. President, Your Honours. Everyone in and around the courtroom. I am Sonoron, the defense counsel for Mr. Nunji. I have several questions for you experts. The first question concerning his back aids. He suffers from a severe back aids when he moved, and as a result, he also suffers from the headache. Et Does the two kind of uh, symptoms relate each other? I do not know whether uh, you can uh, provide answers uh, for si my question. À cette question. Um, yes, the, he does have a oui. backache and he does associate headaches and dizziness with his backache. But from the medical point, I don't think there is any correlation. I think it is uh, quite common for people to uh, associate symptoms together. Just like earlier on, I was mentioning about dizziness and high blood pressure. So in this case, it is the dizziness and the headache with the backache. Council, Question. from my observation, I went to visit and discuss uh, about hearings uh, with uh, my clients frequently, pu des and I observed avec mon client, that uh, the health of Mr. Nguyen Chia has uh, deteriorated par que la santé de from years to years. En année. And I could see that uh, his physical condition and mental condition has uh, been deteriorating severely. Deteriorée that is why he has suffered from back aches and he is not dos, able disais, to sit in this courtroom so that he could communicate with uh, parties and everyone. So as you can see, today he is not able to physically present uh, in this courtroom because uh, after he woke up, he had a severe pain in his back. And when he sits in his courtroom, he cannot sit uh, longer than a period of 20 minutes. Plus de 20 My next point, I support that there should be a UT doctor specializing in uh, mental condition of um, Mr. Nguyen as uh, suggested by Dr. Hoodlina. I have no further question, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Lina Wout. 
Je n'ai plus de questions. Le président. Thank you very merci, much. merci, maître. On behalf of the chamber, on behalf of the bench, I would like to express my sincere thanks for your comment and observation and also question during the expert examination. Je vous remercie également pour vos réponses. I also express my sincere thanks to councils. Je remercie for les avocats, civil parties, uh, co-prosecutors, co and defense counsel, les équipes de défense, staff, security personnel, les agents officers de sécurité, of the trial chamber, and interpreters who have been huissiers, uh, making this hearing bref, possible. The bon chamber will take all the points from parties and from experts to into account concerning uh, the uh, capacity, uh, ability of uh, the accused uh, to Nous en join tout ce in this hearing. So we now uh, come the hearings on the here uh, on the presentation of medical report of the two accused come to an end, and I thank you, Mr. Experts, who spent your valuable time in appearing in this court as ordered by the chamber, and thank you for uh, giving testimonies before the chamber. As of now, the hearings on medical reports come to an end, and experts can uh, go anywhere you wish uh, to go. I wish you a safe trip. Court officer, you are instructed to facilitate with Wesu to send uh, the experts to his preferred uh, destination. Chamber wishes to inform the public that in the afternoon, Hearings will continue to hear the remainder of uh, Om Sopani's testimony. The Om hearing Sopani. will resume at 1.30 p.m. Security personnel, you are instructed to bring uh, Mr. Kyo uh, to Kyo the holding cell downstairs and return him, have him returned before 1.30 p.m. The court hearing, the court is now adjourned.